So I just found this insane AI workflow that combines ChatGPT with this incredibly powerful feature inside of Canva that most people don't even know exists. And this has to be one of the most creative ways to make money with AI right now. I am genuinely blown away by how powerful this is. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step exactly what this workflow is and how you could potentially use it to make money online. With that said though, I can't promise you're gonna make any money with this. Starting an online business is of course hard, and even if you do everything perfectly, you still may not make any money. But what I will do is show you this exact workflow step-by-step, step, and I won't leave anything out. So let's jump right into it. All right, so let's start with something really simple. I'm gonna show you how you can bulk create dozens of social media posts in a matter of minutes. And this is a service that you can offer on Fiverr. You can reach out to local small businesses and tell them that you'll make their social media posts for them. And they don't know that's actually just taking you a few minutes because you're using both ChatGPT and Canva. So let's start here on ChatGPT, and you don't need to change any settings on here. You don't need to use any custom GPTs. Just come to the regular chat box right here. And you want to type in a prompt that says something like this. You're asking it to create a CSV file, which is basically an Excel file with creative Instagram ideas for whatever business you're working with. So in this case, I'm asking it to come up with five creative Instagram ideas for a local bike shop. But more importantly, you need to include these columns. So the first is just a short descriptive column or name for what this post is about. Then you want a column that actually describes what the images are that are going to be in that post. Then we need a headline for that post. That's the word that's going to appear on top of the actual image. And then the copy that's going to go underneath it. And then I'll click on submit. Once it's ready, go ahead and download it, and then we can head on over to Canva. Now, inside of Canva, you wanna click on the top left where it says Create, and then you wanna click on Upload and actually upload the file that you just downloaded and click on Open. Go ahead and view it. Once it's ready, it will look something like this, a very plain looking Excel type file that has everything we asked for, the post ideas, the asset prompts, the headline, and the copy. Now, the only thing we have to change in here is this column right here that says asset prompt, because we don't just want a bunch of words, we want the actual images. And luckily it's very fast and easy to do this inside of Canva. So what you wanna do is click on the left here where it says magic media, then come back to the column with the asset prompts. We're gonna go ahead and copy down the first one and then we'll paste in that prompt into this text box and then click on generate. That will then give us four AI images that we can choose between. Now I like this one right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in to replace the text. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other ones. I'm gonna copy down the next prompt, paste that one in and click on generate again. I'll do that for the other four. Once all of the images are created, we can go ahead and create the template for the social media posts. So what I'll do is down here, you wanna make sure that grid view is turned on or just click on grid view rather, and then click on this drop down right here and select social media. Now in this case, we're gonna be posting to Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Instagram post. And then let's go ahead and open that up by double clicking it. Then we'll click on the left here where it says design and let's go ahead and pick a design for our social media post that's going to be used as a template for all of them. So I like this one right here. I think this is a really good template. I'm just gonna go ahead and change it up. And basically what I want in here is I'm going to make sure that this is going to be used as a template. So right here at the top, this is just gonna be some text that's going to change. I don't want this up here. I don't need that much text. So I'm just gonna include that. But I do also want the images to change, so these are gonna be changed as well. But like all this down here, I'm gonna keep the same. So I'm gonna call this Bob's Bikes because that's the name of the bike shop. We can say that this is the address and I can also put like the phone number down here for the bike shop as well. So this, these things aren't going to change, but these two things are. So once you have it exactly the template the way that you want, we can go ahead and bulk create all of the social media posts using this template. So to do that, you wanna click on the left here where it says bulk create. You then wanna select here where it says sheets and you wanna select the sheet that you just uploaded that also has the assets in it, which is this one right here in my case. And I will go ahead and click on done. 
Now from here, I'm gonna select text at the top because this is the text that I want to change. I will select connect data and I'm going to select headline because headline is a text that I want to be populated right here. And then here, I'm gonna select the image, click on connect data, and I'll click on asset prompt. And those are the only two things I need to change. Now from here, you just click on continue and click on generate five designs, and it's gonna work its magic. So here we see the designs are ready. I'll click on view design, and we can see all the posts right here. So this one right here says adventure and has a accompanying photo right here. Here's another one that says spotlight and it has a really nice new bike for sale. This one says join us for like group rides. This is like for tune-ups and some new arrivals. Now you might have to change things a little bit like right here, right here, I just have to fine tune that a little bit, but otherwise just in a matter of minutes, you can have dozens of social media posts. So this will allow you to really scale up any type of social media business, whether you're doing it locally or for companies on Fiverr. For this next example, let's take things up a level. I'm back here in ChatGPT, and this time I'm going to ask it to create a CSV file with 10 motivational quotes. But I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to make a whole lot more for me. So I'm gonna ask it to create the quote that's gonna go on the Instagram post, the author who said it, another column that's going to have the copy that's gonna go underneath the Instagram post, one that has the date that I should publish it, and another column with the relevant hashtags that I should use. That way I have a complete system built out of all the Instagram posts that I'm going to use. And in this case, we're not gonna do this for another business, we're gonna do this for our own Instagram account so we can start growing it and having influence and then we can start making money with our own Instagram account. Now once you have the file, you know what to do, come over to Canva, click on Create, go ahead and upload it. Here it is right here. And we can go ahead and see all of the different columns filled out exactly the way that we want. And now because this one isn't going to be using images, this is actually gonna be a lot faster to make. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to click on this down arrow again and click on social media. Again, we will choose Instagram page or post and we'll click on design and let's go ahead and search for motivational quotes and see if we find a good template. So I like this one right here. What I'll do is just change it up a little bit. I don't need this text at the top, so I'll delete that. But otherwise, this is actually perfect the way that it is. So again, I'll click on the left here where it says bulk create. I'll go ahead and click on sheets and I will select the Instagram quotes file that we just uploaded and click on done. And then for this, I'll click on the quote right here, click on connect data, and then I'll select the quote column. And then for this, I'll select this one, click on connect data and click on author. And then I'll click on continue. And then finally click on generate 10 designs. So here are the final results. We see we have all 10 of them. They look absolutely beautiful. And I mean, how quickly did we do this? This took probably just a couple minutes once you get it down and you can have all these Instagram posts ready to go, you'll know exactly when to post them, which hashtags to use, and what copy to put underneath it as well, so you can start growing your own influence on Instagram. Before we move on to the next example, if you're finding this video helpful and you're liking this workflow, do me a favor and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out and it lets YouTube know that you like videos like this and it'll start recommending more of them to you. So definitely be sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. For this next example, we're gonna use the same exact workflow, but we're gonna use it now to actually create a presentation like a PowerPoint. So back here on ChatGPT, I'm gonna tell it I'm working on a presentation about how to use, how regular people can use AI. So I asked it to create a CSV file for me where each row represents a new slide. I need a column with the text prompt for the image, a column for the title of that slide, and another column with the actual text that's going to be on it. Now that I have the file, of course, I'm gonna click on create over here in Canva and go ahead and upload it so we can take a look at it and actually generate the images. So here it is right here. And just like before, I'm going to go through this prompt column right here and actually use the magic media to create all the images. So let me do that real fast and then we'll jump back in and finish this up. Okay, now that all of them are generated, 
I will go ahead and add a page right here. In this case, we'll select presentation and we'll come over to designs and choose something nice. Now I found this one, I really like it. I think this will work great for what we need. Let's just go ahead and change it. Like you put up here, AI for all, delete that. Let's go ahead and delete that. And we want this text right here. Now, just like before, we can go ahead and click on bulk create on the left and we'll select the sheet that we just created, like this one right here, click on done. And let's go ahead and match everything. So for this, this will be the title. So I'll click on connect data, select title. Then right here will be the text. So I'll click connect data text. And then finally, this will be the image, collect connect data and the prompt. And I just wanna move this up a little bit just so we can see this a little bit better and maybe push this over here. I wanna actually be able to see the image. So that's a little bit nicer right there, just like that. All right, so now I'm happy with that. So I'll just click on continue, generate nine designs, and let's look at the final results. So here is my final presentation right here, completely made with AI, just in a matter of minutes. The only thing that took a little bit of time was generating all of those images. And obviously just like before, I would have to kind of just clean this up a little bit. I could have done this beforehand if I just kind of stretched this out like this, then that would prevent that from happening uh, and from having to clean up all of them. But for most of them, they came out really, really nice and again, I didn't write any of this. I didn't I didn't create any of these images. This was all AI. So really, really cool that you can create an entire presentation like this in just a matter of minutes using this workflow. So there you go. That's my workflow for using ChatGPT with Canva. And armed with this, and once you understand how it works, there's so much potential with it. All you have to do is come up with different ideas, plug them into this workflow, and you'll be able to create stunning results like I showed you in this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you're absolutely gonna love this one right here because inside of this video, I show you how you can use the power of Notebook LM with Canva to create this incredibly powerful workflow. So definitely make sure you click on this video right here and check it out. And I'll see you over there in just one second. Bye for now.